Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. And Record Store Day hype. Record Store Day is essentially here April 13th, 2019. It's tomorrow, according to my calendar, today. And on this year's Record Store Day, we have all of these releases right here dropping. They're all coming out. They're all going to be at participating record stores across America Get out there and support your local record store, guys. I'm going to kind of filter through a, a lot of this over here and, and pick out which things I'm looking out for, I'm going to be interested in, but uh, if you want to see this PDF for yourself, it's linked down below in the description box. So let's go. Let's uh, kind of pick through this thing and, and see what's uh, uh, showing some promise. First thing that's really sticking out to me over here is this B-52's Mesopotamia LP. I mean, I'm generally a kind of big B-52's fan, so anything that I see from them... Uh, if I don't already have it and it, I know it's some of their best stuff, I will try to pick that up. Looks like we have Angelo and David Lynch over here, uh, Twin Peaks Season 2 Music and More Double LP. Hardcore Twin Peaks fans, take notice, you're going to be freaking out, you're going to be wanting that. Doesn't doesn't uh, specify over here how many copies there are of it, but I guess just do be uh, uh, aware, be on the lookout for that. Uh, another thing over here that's definitely grabbing my attention and piquing my interest is um, not the David Bowie pinups 2015 remastered version, though that that is that is tempting, uh, but is actually the Bone Thugs and Harmony E1999 Eternal, a double LP repressing 2,000 copies of that. Hopefully there is one in my area. Cheech and Chong up in smoke seven inch for the stoners. Cheap Trick, the Epic Archive for the Hard Rock and Dad Rockers. Canned Heat for the other Dad Rockers. Remember Woodstock uh, LP, 1,000 copies of that. John Cage meets Sun Ra. That sounds absolutely insane. On a 7-inch, 1,350 copies. Okay, color me interested. Now this really is piquing my interest over here. Death Grips. Steroids, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Gabber, Megamix, Harvest, LP, 3,500 copies. I need it. I want it. I need it to make me make you feel hated. And I, I own every other thing Death Grips has ever put out for the most part. There actually there are a couple things I don't. A couple things that I don't. Like I don't have, I don't have the interview cassette. Um, I have the, you know, the, the Fashion Week vinyl with the interview music on, you know, sort of the other side and everything. But I, I don't have the freaking uh, cassette of that. Uh, but still, uh, given that Steroids is one of my favorite Death Grips releases so far, uh, would break my heart to not, not have that. But, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to complain here about things that I do and don't have. But material goods are fleeting, you know. But still, if we're going to indulge in that, uh, let's do it in a Record Store Day video, shall we? I know I am personally am intrigued in this green jelly serial killer sounds <laughs> Repress over here, if anybody remembers the heavy and hardcore comedy rock stylings of Green Jelly from back in the day, you will most likely want to get a copy of that. Uh, moving on from there, we have an Idols Meat EP, Meta EP, which I have uh, not heard those all the way through, and I don't own a copy of them, so... Um, and I do love Idols, so getting a copy of that could be really cool. Fela Kuti and Roy Ayers for the jazz and Afro beat heads out there. Knitting Factory LP, 2,000 copies. Craig Mack and Notorious B.I.G. Uh, looks like it's going to be LP and cassette, the Big Mac sampler. Uh, that's going to be pretty incredible for the sort of golden age hip-hop fans out there. Uh, I know that I am definitely having my interests peaked by Mission of Burma, Peking Spring, an LP of that, 2,000 copies. Uh, not so much the Modest Mouse, Poison the Well 7-inch, though. Do not care for that single at all. Um, we have Anderson Pack Bubbling 7-inch, which is pretty exciting, as that is a great Grammy-winning song, and uh, I do wish it made it onto Oxnard. It didn't, but still an incredible track. Uh, Pink Floyd, Saucer Full of Secrets, mono version, 6,500 copies of that. Not my favorite Pink Floyd, but for those of us who like to listen to those classic rock records in mono, it's not 8D or anything. But, you know, if, if you like to hear the same sound coming out of each speaker, this Saucer Full of Secrets uh, reissue will most likely do you well. Uh, we also have a few Iggy Pop uh, reissues. Looks like Hippodrome, Paris, 1977. Uh, don't know if that... His, uh, that live recording has been out before, though. Uh, the Villagers with Pain and Suffering on a 7-inch. 
Uh, we have a few Prince records, a few Queen records. Uh, looks like mostly Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, I'm in love with my car and Bohemian Rhapsody picture disc. Uh, for hardcore Prince fans who are collectors, the Versace Experience Prelude to Gold cassette uh, will probably freak you the freak out. Uh, let's see. We have a few Rolling Stones, a little Mark Ronson, Riz a Birth of a Prince. Definitely intrigued by the Sly and the Family Stone Woodstock Sunday, August 17th, 1969 record over here. Moses Sumney's Black in Deep Red 2014 EP that I loved last year. Seems pretty intriguing. We have some Tangerine Dream La Park dropping, which this is not the only uh, Tangerine Dream stuff that's uh, coming out. Keep a lookout later in the video. Uh, Tiny Tim live at Royal Albert Hall. Jesus Christ, if you have no idea who Tiny Tim is, I mean, maybe this live record isn't going to be the, the best introduction, but do yourself a favor and Google, uh, Google that sweet, high singing, ukulele playing man. We have some various artist comps over here, including the Breaking Bad and Crow soundtracks, but not a whole lot that's blowing me away outside of... Uh, this rough guide to Arabian jazz over here, that is most definitely uh, piquing my interest. If that is in front of my face, I'm probably going to grab that. Ba -ba -ba. Sugar Hill Records, 40th anniversary box set. I guess for those of us who um, want to get a taste of those uh, very old school pioneering hip hop sounds, uh, do look out for that Sugar Hill Records 40, 40th anniversary box set right there. And uh, quite a few three inch vinyl records being put out there this record store day that I'm seeing in this list. And uh, so I guess don't be surprised if you go to your local record store and you're seeing some three inch records uh, floating around in every direction. But still, uh, Jack White Love Interruption, White Stripes Candy Cane Child uh, seems pretty enticing to me. Also Weezer Teal album. Uh, for those of us who are the hardcore Weezer fans, maybe maybe not so much for me, but uh, and also Violent Femmes, Hallowed Ground. That is a great album, a great unsettling, disturbing, and dark record um, that uh, I don't have a copy of. Would be amazing to have a copy of that. Uh, moving on from there, we have some Record Store Day limited run and regional releases. Let's see what we have in this list. It looks like we've got even less copies of these coming out, so this may be even harder to get a hold of. Uh, 13th Floor Elevators, the psychedelic sounds of the 13th Floor Elevators, classic for the old school rock and psych heads. Uh, more essential psych for Acid Mother's Temple fans. Uh, looks like we have a 500 copy release of Invisible Eyes and Phantom Cathedral. We have uh, an anal cunt release over here. Uh, of course, it's being simplified now as AXCX, uh, but still you, you can't take away from the fact that the band's music is hideous and ugly and offensive. And uh, Picnic of Love, whatever the hell that is, I, I can't recall. I'm not that well versed in the catalog of AC, but I, I know enough to know that um, Picnic of Love is most likely not going to be the, the prettiest or easiest listen. Desmond Decker and the Aces for the hardcore reggae and ska fans out there. What else is sticking out to me over here? We have uh, Jedi Mind Tricks, Visions of Gandhi for more uh, hip-hop fans out there. Not their best project, but... Still one of the more essential underground hip hop acts of the 2000s. And, you know, the first couple of records are must listens. We have some Lee Scratch Perry over here for the hardcore uh, Roots and Dub Reggae fans. Uh, double LP, 950 copies of that. As I told you guys earlier, a few more Tangerine Dream releases, LP and double LP releases of Machu Picchu and Poland. Various artists, Brazil Classic 30th Anniversary Box Set, Luaka Bop, three LPs. Um, not familiar with this compilation, but still, this is coming out via David Byrne's record label, so if you do kind of want to expand your music listening to uh, sounds and genres that are kind of outside of... of uh, North American borders and, and that sort of thing, uh, you're probably going to want to do it through a great compilation on this label. This is a pretty great label when it comes to uncovering these international musical gems. Uh, moving on from there, another compilation that I can most definitely highly recommend is this Disco Not Disco 3 LP release that's coming out. I don't think this is what I own, or I don't think I own this, but what I can say is that um, I have a few CD copies of uh, compilations in the Disco Not Disco series, and for the most part, they are really great collections of tracks from the 
late 70s, the early and mid 80s that embrace the tenets of new wave and disco and sort of like filter it through a, a post-punk lens. You know, there are a lot of great danceable, funky, mutant obscurities on these compilations that are uh, definitely worth listening to if you want to know anything about post-punk and punk. Moving on from there, another great compilation that is most likely going to be a must for a lot of people is the Boombox 45 box set, early independent Hip Hop Electro and Disco Rap 1979 to 83. Soul Jazz Records is a great label that I actually own quite a few compilations from. And uh, whatever genre or era of music they're covering in a comp, they usually do a great, 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 great job of pulling it all together. So uh, if you do see this uh, compilation in front of you, and this is sort of an era or a genre that interests you, or even another era or genre, uh, being pulled together by Soul Jazz, don't miss out. This is most likely going to be a good compilation. We have some Record Store Day first releases. Captain Beefheart, Trout Mask Replica, the Third Man Records reissue, which I hope is uh, is that colored reissue. Might not be, but if it is, definitely grab that because it's an excellent reissue, which I believe previously had only been available via, you know, joining their uh, Third Man records record club so if there's sort of like you know copies of this floating around now of, of that deluxe sort of reissue and everything pick up a copy because it's excellent flaming lips king mouth music and songs not a flaming lips release i'm familiar with but they usually do kind of go all out for record store day with something and uh, the flaming lips fans usually have something important or amazing to pick up on record store day so there you go don't miss out on that green day woodstock 1994 uh, 6,800 copies of that, so there's likely going to be a lot of that laying around after Record Store Day. Uh, Greta Van Fleet from the Fires, there's probably going to be a lot of that laying around after Record Store Day. Oh, DJ Khaled Victory, that's what I need in my life. Motorhead Rockaway Beach? Ramones cover? Sounds pretty cool. Sun Life Metal? Wow, okay, 3,800 copies of that. So this is a double LP, a CD. This is the record Sun is slated to release on April 19th, it would seem. And uh, yeah, it looks like they're having a bit of a short run early record store day release. Not sure if this is going to be different from whatever record they drop physically on the 19th. But uh, yeah, Sun kind of dropping a little early there is uh, is exciting. Transformers, the album Transformers Dark Side of the Moon. Please, God, please, no. Uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen soundtrack. No, please, just keep it away from me. Conehead's music from the motion picture. Do love the Conehead soundtrack. It does have Tainted Love on it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's about it, everybody. Um, still, there are a lot of great releases, it seems, coming out this record store day. Certainly a lot more enticing me this year than I think there were last year, which is um, always a good change of pace. Record store day. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you've gone and what you ended up picking up or what you want. Uh, what stuck out to you in this list, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Anthony Fantano, Record Store Day, forever.